In this week's episode, we are travelling to Egypt, a country in North Africa, to see one of the only surviving seven wonders of the ancient world, the Great Sphinx of Giza. As one of the largest surviving ancient statues, this magnificent and grand structure has had archaeologists from around the world baffled as no one can confirm how this remarkable monument was built. Carved from a single piece of limestone over 4,500 years ago, the Great Sphinx of Giza is one of the largest and oldest statues in the world. Travelling to the Giza Plateau, past the Great Pyramid of Giza, so we can reach the Great Sphinx. Oh, this is actually huge! We are meeting a Yam, our tour guide, who is going to tell us all there is to know about the Great Sphinx of Giza. Let's break off. Oh, that's a long story, actually. What do you tell think? Me. Can you um, tell us? Tell me some suggestions. Well, the thing that I think I've heard... Maybe it's a fat You know Napoleon? No. Napoleon? No. Oh, well, it's like this French leader guy, and he shut it off. <laughs> Many people like to blame Napoleon for having shot off the nose of the Great Sphinx but this isn't true. Nobody knows for certain how or why the Sphinx's nose is missing. How they build the Sphinx? Practice the target shots or something? You know, it's a lion body with a human head, a king's face and features. A yam explains that there are many other Sphinxes in Egypt, some of which are still being discovered. Right in front of the Sphinx is the remains of the old Sphinx temple. The temple is dedicated to Ra, the Egyptian sun god. We are now walking through the temple's courtyard to reach the Sphinx. The Great Sphinx is of a mythological creature with the body of a lion and the head of a person. It even has a tail just like a lion. Standing at 73 metres high and 73 metres long, the Great Sphinx faces the sunrise and guards the pyramid tombs of Giza. It is believed that it was built under the ruling of Pharaoh Khafre, since the head of the lion resembles the face of Pharaoh Khafre. This is the same Pharaoh that built the Pyramid of Khafre. The Sphinx has a number of hidden tunnels and passages that many believe could reveal hidden treasure and secrets about ancient Egypt. It is estimated that it took around 100 workers approximately three years to create the monument using just chisels and hammers. There were many Sphinx statues in ancient Egyptian art as ancient Egyptians believed they would serve to protect important areas. It is thought that the Great Sphinx was painted in red, blue and yellow, but after 4,500 years, the colour has worn off. It had a long beard that was braided, 
but has eroded over time due to the desert winds and humidity that occurs in Egypt. What is fascinating about the Great Sphinx is that it was carved from a single piece of limestone. This makes the Sphinx the world's largest monolith statue. Did you know that the Great Sphinx was buried under the sand up to its neck? This was due to sandstorms that covered the Sphinx until only the head was visible. There were several attempts to dig the Sphinx out, but they could not hold back the sand. As soon as they dug the sand out, it poured straight back into the excavation pits. It wasn't until 1930 that archaeologist Salim Hassan was able to free this important monument from the sand. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode about the Great Sphinx. If you like this video, be sure to check out our documentary on the Great Pyramids of Giza. Let's go bye. <laughs> <laughs>